Today's lesson is going to be about Blackbird. We're going to go about learning this out of order because I feel like if you get some of the, or at least this one part uh, first, it'll help you with the rest of the song. It is a finger style jam and it has some uh, kind of interesting and different ways of picking. That's a little bit similar to the banjo. So here we go. We're going to learn this picking pattern. It starts where the first chord you have your ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string and your first finger on the 10th fret of the A string. The picking pattern works like this. You're going to take your thumb and put it on the A string and your middle finger and you're going to put it on the B string. And you're going to pluck both of those at the same time you're going to get this kind of action happening when you go to do that. Then you're going to take your index finger and you're going to flick down two times and you're going to get the B and G strings to ring out. So pick, flick, flick. Then you're going to take your thumb and you're going to pick by itself the A string. And then you're going to take the index finger and pick the G string. And then you're going to flick those uh, G and B strings again. So all together that's pick, flick, flick, pick, pick, flick. And that happens twice in this particular part of the song. Pick, flick, flick, pick, pick, flick. Pick, flick, flick, pick, pick. So I would spend some time working on that and take that along with the metronome and work it up from 60 to 260 or something like that. Here's what it sounds like at 60. One, two, three, four. If you continue moving it up at that speed and then you get to 96 beats per minute, you will be at half speed, which sounds like this. And then if you uh, keep moving it up uh, so that it's double time, that will sound like this. Now we back up to the first part of the song where uh, we have some simple chord movement. And your first is where your ring finger hits the, it's on the third fret of the big E. And then your first finger goes to the first fret of the B string. And then you take your ring finger and you put it on the third fret of the B string and your first finger and you put it on the second fret of the A string. And then that's where you slide up to the twelfth fret. Where we were doing so the picking pattern for those first three chords is E and B at the same time with your middle and thumb and then the index hits a G and then for the second chord it's A and middle finger hits the A and B and then the index finger hits the G and then you repeat that with the third chord all together that sounds like So if we put that, those three chords and the other strumming pattern together twice, we have the intro and the first line of the verse. And that sounds like this slowly. One, two, three, four. part we have is the 
second part of the verse. So let's listen to that first. One, two, three, four. So let's break that down. You're going to start with your first finger on the third fret of the A string and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the B string. And you're going to pluck both of those together with your thumb and middle finger. And then your index finger is going to pluck an open G string. And then you're going to move your middle finger in order to keep your fingers lined up with the same position on the frets to the fourth fret of the A string and your first finger is going to the third fret of the little E and then you're going to take your ring finger and pluck the little E and your thumb and pluck the A and then your index finger is going to pluck that open G again. So that together sounds like this. And then you're going to repeat that same process with the same shapes, but you're going to be on 5 and 7, and then 6 and 5. So 5 and 7 on the A and uh, B strings, pluck those together. And then you move your middle finger to the 6th fret of the A, and your first finger to the 5th fret of the little E. And you pluck those together, and then an open G again. And together that sounds like this. If we put those four shapes together, you have this. take your first finger and put it on the seventh fret of the A string and your ring finger and put it on the eighth fret of the B string and you're going to do that uh, picking pattern that we did on uh, 10 and 12 and that's going to look like this. You're going to go pick, flick, flick, pick, pick, flick, A and B together, flick the G and B strings twice, A by itself, G with the index finger, and then a flick with the index finger. You're going to do that same pattern again, but you're going to have moved your index finger down to the 6th fret, leaving your ring finger on the 8th fret of the B. So that together sounds like this. to the 5 and 7 on the A and B strings and you're just doing the uh, initial pattern of the A and B together and then the G string by itself with the index finger and then you're moving down way down where your middle finger is going to grab the fourth fret of the uh, a string and your first finger is going to grab the uh, third fret of the little E and your thumb and little and your thumb and ring finger are going to pluck those two together and then another open G then you're switching to your first finger on the third fret of the A and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the B and we're doing that um, that picking pattern Chucka in there. 
And then you're doing another hukka chukka on top of the um, new chord, which is going to be where you just moved your ring finger down to the fourth fret, fret of the B string and leaving your first finger on the uh, third fret of the A. And then you're sliding that whole shape down to second fret of the A and third fret of the B. taking both of those away to leave the middle finger on the second fret of the B string with an open A. And then you're moving your first finger down to the first fret of the um, B string and then you're going to pluck an open D string with your thumb this time so the, it looks more like this. ending it with the ring finger going to the third fret of the big E and you're plucking an open B string uh, with that same pattern. So the way I think of it is the first to repeat. I think about those as being friends. And then we have this. I think about those two as being friends. So we got six and eight, I mean seven and eight to six and eight. And then we have uh, these guys, the five and seven, so the four and three. Everything just starts to go in a descending pattern where you're getting lower and lower on the guitar. Lower, lower, lower. And then we got one little weirdo where we're hitting this D string. And then another weirdo with the big G string. So maybe think of these two guys. The next section is what I'm calling a tag, and this happens at the end of the first verse. So the first thing you're doing is you're going to the fifth fret with the ring finger on the B string, and the first finger on the third fret of the A string, and you're doing uh, thumb and middle on that to the open G index finger on the right hand. And then you're moving down to two and three where your first finger is on the second fret of the A string and your ring finger is on the third fret of the B string. And you got A and B together and then open G again. And then you're going to the two on the second fret of the um, B string and an open A string where you're going to play that uh, hukka chukka pattern. And then you're moving down to the one on the B string and you're going to have uh, the D string open as your bass note with that same hukka chukka pattern. And then down to the G which is the third fret on the E string with your ring finger with that same pattern with the open uh, B string and the third fret of the E. So all together that little part sounds like this. Then you go back to the beginning of the verse you get to the end of the verse the second time instead of playing that little tag you move to the next section which is the bridge and the bridge uh, starts up here on the 10th fret and the 8th fret so your ring finger is on the 10th fret of the B string and your um, index finger is on the 8th fret of the A string and you're doing the thumb on A and middle finger on B 
with your uh, picking hand. And then you're going to do an open G string. And you do this uh, four times, but you're moving through four chords. So you've got this guy, and then you're going to move down to here where you're shrinking the interval. So instead of being two frets apart, now you're just one fret apart. And you've got your finger on the seventh fret and the eighth fret. down again and you're on the uh, fifth fret and sixth fret and then you're moving it down again but then you're blowing that interval back up and you're on the third fret and fifth fret so if we put all that together we have um, eight and ten seven and eight five and six three and five so the way I think about that is a uh, big, little, little, big. And then we keep it big for that hook a chuck a pattern on the, with your first finger on the first fret of the A string and your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And so you've got pick, pick, flick, flick, pick, pick, flick. And then you're sliding that back up to three and five um, where you're doing that same pattern. Repeat all that. But instead of going back up, you're moving down to the second fret on the B string and an open A string. And then one on the B string with a open D string as your bass. And then you're going to play through uh, a whole verse again, so which is uh, this thing that we've already gone over. get to the end of the verse you go back to the bridge when you get to the end of the bridge where you've played this part you're going to jump straight into the uh, climb of the intro or the verse and you're going to hang out on this uh, 10 and 12 thing for an extra amount of time than you did. So I'm calling this like an extended intro. And that happens four times. And after you do that, you're just uh, hanging out on that chord where you're going pick, flick, pick, flick, pick, flick, pick. So one, two, in all three and then uh, moving forward you're plugging you're you're moving on to what I call an extended tag so that little tag we had at the end of the verse earlier is back but it's got more happening with it so you're gonna uh, play the 10 and 12 with an open D string and you're gonna slide uh, the 10 and 12 down like this <laughs> And then you're coming back to the third fret on the big E string with an open B and then an open G string. And then you've got an open, and then you've got an open A and the first fret on the B and an open G string. And then you're moving your first finger to the second fret of the A and the three finger to the third fret of the B and then an open G string. And then you're moving up to the third fret of the A and the fifth fret of the B, and then an open G string. And back down to two and three. And then back down again to open and two. And then you're moving to uh, open on the D string and one on the B. 
for the Haka Chaka pattern. Moving on, you return back to the verse. is like repeating that little end section and you do that twice so the the ending is uh, three and five to two and three open and two haka chaka open D string in one G string I'm sorry E string playing the third fret And then you repeat that. But instead of doing the haka chaka on the last chord, you're going to play just an open B and the E string with the third fret. And then you're going to put your pinky down on the third fret of the high E string and flick the bottom four strings. The two most important things to master for this song are this initial picking pattern that we went over, which is not the first picking pattern you use, but this. And and this, if you take these two uh, positions, this third and fifth fret to this uh, fourth and third fret movement with your one and three to your two and one getting and moving to here you get all of that down and playing the rest of the song will be super cake and that's everything I hope that you enjoyed this lesson today if you have any questions put them in the comments like and subscribe and all that stuff and then uh, if you're interested you can check out my website at mrmarshallmusic.com and I hope to hear from you